Hi, I'm Trudy. Today, I want to talk about phrasal verbs and their standard verb counterparts. Lots of students can struggle to see how they should be used differently. So, I'm here to help. Or help out. Oh dear, let's find out more together. So, a phrasal verb is made up of a verb and a particle which together creates something with a different meaning and use than the original verb. Today, let's look at the particle out and some common phrasal verbs which use it. So, am I helping you with phrasal verbs or helping you out with phrasal verbs? Well, the answer is both. However, there is a key difference. Help as a verb just means to make something easier for someone. People can help and so can objects. For example, she helped me study for my exams last year. Or when you're gardening, wearing gloves really helps. But what about help out? This means to help someone in a difficult situation. Importantly, a thing can't help out, but a person can. We either say you can help out or help someone out. When we want to be more specific, we use with. It's important to help out at Christmas with all the cooking. Or she desired to help him out with flat hunting. In both these cases, we could just use help instead. However, we can't always swap help for help out. It would be weird to say, when you're gardening, wearing gloves really helps out. That's because the subject here is the action of wearing gloves rather than a person. So what's the difference between, could you help me? And could you help me out? The main difference is the phrasal verb contains the idea of a difficult situation. Could you help me with this suitcase? It's just asking for assistance. Could you help me out of this suitcase? Implies that the speaker is in difficulty and needs help with their luggage. How about try and try out? Well, try has two main meanings. It can mean to attempt something. For example, I'm trying to study harder. But it can also mean to test something to see if you like it or it's useful. You might try a new restaurant or try sleeping with the curtains open so the sunlight wakes you up more naturally. And try out? Well, it's very similar. It means to test something to see if it works for you. You could also try out the new restaurant or try out sleeping with the curtains open. But try out does not mean attempt. So if you said, I'm trying out studying harder, it wouldn't mean you're attempting to study harder. Instead, it would mean that you were testing a new study routine to see if it worked better for you. Now let's think about check and check out. Check can mean to examine or look at something to make sure it's correct, true or in acceptable condition. For example, we need to get the car checked at the weekend or mum always checks my homework for me or I wish you wouldn't check your phone while I'm talking to you. Notice something? We don't check people. The exception to this is when we're examining somebody's body for damage. For example, the doctor checked him for wounds. On the other hand, check out means someone is more involved. Rather than just examine or look at something, it's used to mean investigate something, either to find out more information or verify that something is correct. For example, the police checked out the house where the murder occurred. It can also mean that something is found to be true. The witnesses' stories check out. If we check out a person, we investigate them to see if they're acceptable. Make sure you check him out before we hire him. And we might use it to talk about 
looking at a thing or person because it's interesting or attractive. For example, that guy is checking you out or check out this dress, it's gorgeous. Or exploring a place for the first time to see if it's fun or interesting. Like, let's check out the Thai restaurant around the corner. With our pair of verbs cut and cut out, the particle out is a useful way to remember the difference in meaning. Cut means to sever something into more than one piece. We most often cut paper, but we could cut wood, fabric, fruit, etc. For example, he cut the apple in two. Cut out means to remove something from something larger by cutting it with a knife or scissors. For example, she used to cut out pictures of her favourite celebrities from magazines and stick them on her wall. To make the mask, first cut a circle out of card. So I hope I helped you out today with your phrasal verbs. Why don't you try using them? You can try out each phrasal verb by writing a sentence with it and posting your sentences in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer as many comments as possible. Make sure to like and subscribe for more helpful videos and check out our Instagram too. See you in the next video.